Okay, at some point in time, we are going to need to uh, talk about the nuclear re reactions, and uh, we do that we do so in the form of nuclear equations. Uh, what what we're going to show is that uh, the uh, radioactive isotope we're going to call the parent isotope or the parent nuclide undergoes that nuclear change which means that it is going to react or decay into a new isotope which we call the daughter nuclide and of course it is going to emit some type of radiation to keep track of everything going on in a nuclear reaction uh, in the form of a nuclear equation, what we're going to need to do is to make sure that two things are equal to each other. The sum of the atomic numbers and the mass numbers. So the sum of the mass numbers needs to be equal on both sides of this equation. The sum of the mass numbers on the left side and the sum of the mass numbers on the right side. The sum of the mass numbers need to equal and then the second thing that needs to happen is that the sum of the sum of the atomic numbers need to be equal on both sides of this equation. And in doing so, what we will be able to do is we will be able to predict well, some things about this nuclear reaction. Uh, say, for instance, that we know the parent nuclide and we know what type of radiation it emits, we could answer the question of what daughter nuclide is produced. Or, just like any equation, if you know uh, most of the variables, you can always solve for one. Um, for instance, if we know the parent nuclide and we know what daughter isotope was produced, we could answer the question about what type of radiation is being produced in this nuclear equation. Okay, so let's take a look at a few examples and uh, let's do this. Okay, first let's bounce the nuclear equation uh, for the alpha decay of americium 241. Now, to do any of these nuclear equations, we're going to need a periodic table. Americium is a rare earth element in the actinide series, it has uh, 95 protons, and so of course it's um, Atomic number is 95. Americium-241, with the symbol of AM, is used in smoke detectors. The alpha particle is what's detected when uh, no smoke is present. If smoke blocks the alpha particles, of course, uh, that's when the uh, smoke alarm will go off. Okay? We're going to need to write the uh, atomic symbol for our parent isotope. Americium-241 with 95. Uh, proton, so a mass number of 95, it decays and produces an alpha particle, okay, or emits an alpha particle. And of course we're going to use the Greek letter alpha for its symbol. Since the alpha particle is essentially a helium nucleus, we remember that we can write the atomic symbol as having two protons, just like helium, and two neutrons. Uh, for a mass number of four. Now, as we just said, most of the time we want to figure out what else is involved in this nuclear reaction in the form of this nuclear equation. So in this scenario, we're trying to figure out what isotope, what daughter isotope is being produced. And again, all we have to do is make sure that the mass numbers are equal on both sides and that the atomic numbers are equal on both sides. So, what uh, is missing here? Well, we can just do a quick little bit of subtraction. 241 minus 4 is equal to 237. So now we know that the uh, new isotope that's created has a mass number of 237. What's the atomic number? 95 and 2. So 95 minus 2 will give us our missing atomic number. 95 minus 2 is 93. And so our new isotope that's being produced in this nuclear reaction has an atomic number of 93, which means it has 93 protons. And if we go back to the periodic table, we can find out that that new isotope is neptunium, Np.
All right, let's try another couple of examples. Here we're going to balance the nuclear equation for the positron emission of oxygen-15. Oxygen-15 can be used in a healthcare field for PET scans, which is positron emission tomography scans. Okay, so what uh, isotope is uh, produced when oxygen emits a positron? Okay, of course we want to write the atomic symbol for our parent isotope. Oxygen-15, mass number 15. How many protons does oxygen have? Go to the periodic table. We can see that it has eight protons. Okay, we can uh, figure out the isotope that is produced if we remember what the atomic symbol for a positron is. If you remember, the positron is a antimatter or the antimatter of an electron. It's a type of beta particle, and so we use the beta uh, symbol, uh, letter. And of course, we want to show that it's a positron, so we use a positive charge there. Uh, the beta particle, it doesn't have any protons or neutrons. It's a uh, particle unto itself. Um, and so we have zero for its mass number, and then we have a sort of pseudo-atomic number uh, in the form of a plus one so that we can balance this nuclear equation. All right. So what's the missing mass number? Well, this is going to be pretty easy because of the zero. 15 plus zero equals 15. So we know that the mass number is also 15 for our isotope. Uh, the atomic number we can figure out by subtracting one from eight, seven, and so now we know our daughter nuclide has an atomic number of seven or seven protons, and that would put it to right here, and that is nitrogen. Okay, one more quick example for balancing nuclear equations. Let's balance the nuclear equation for the beta decay of carbon-14. All right, so carbon 14, mass number 14. Carbon has six protons, so we'll put that there. What is it decaying into? Well, the problem tells us that this is beta decay, and um, just like the positron previously, we're gonna use beta as the symbol. It's a beta particle, so it's essentially it's just an electron that's being emitted from the nucleus. It again doesn't have any protons or uh, neutrons. We use a sort of pseudo atomic uh, number for minus one to make sure that we can balance this nuclear equation. <coughs> All right, so uh, again, the mass number is going to be really simple to find out uh, 14 plus zero equals 14. And so now we, we can see that our uh, mass numbers are equal on both sides. The uh, atomic number is a little bit more complicated in that we're just not going to uh, subtract that atomic number. What we need to do is find out the missing one. And so what plus a negative one equals six? Well, we can rearrange this equation to say that six plus one equals our new atomic number, atomic number seven. And so this nuclear reaction also produces a nitrogen isotope, nitrogen 14, instead of nitrogen 15, as in our last example.